Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Sari. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, so how to uh, generate uh, an array of uh, uh, sorry how to generate hundred random numbers uh, and store them in an array and uh, print them back. Okay, so using uh, uh, with the help of for loop. Okay, so let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using uh, Visual Studio 2013 Express for Windows desktop. So already I have uh, created a project under the name uh, Array of Random Numbers and it consists of nothing but uh, an RAN.c file. Okay, so .c file. So let me add all the basic stuff like uh, header files and so on and so forth. So header files, the first header file is going to be stdio.h uh, which is very quite common. Uh, and the second one, so hash include conio.h Okay, so let me add the main function here. So int main. Return zero. So all these things comes under the standards of coding according to the ANSI standard. Okay, so now uh, here our intention is to have, let's put it in a comment here at the very beginning. So generating random numbers generating random numbers and storing them in an array okay using for loop okay and storing them in an array and using the for loop okay so here uh, our intention is to generate 100 random numbers uh, using the rand function and then store those uh, 100 numbers in an array uh, uh, integer array and then print them back okay so to do that first let us take an array here so let's say array is uh, ARR. Uh, let's take, uh, since we are intended to store 100 uh, random numbers, so since we need to take here uh, an array, an integer array of uh, 100 numbers here, okay? So then let's take another uh, dummy variable, uh, let's say i, uh, to run the loop, uh, so for the for loop purpose here, okay? So now I'm taking the for loop here, so i is equal to zero. So i less than, uh, so i less than 100 and i plus plus, okay? So inside this loop, what I'm going to do is, uh, so I use the RAN function and array, generate a random number simultaneously and store that uh, random number uh, in an in our array uh, named ARR here, okay? So let's say ARR of i is equal to uh, RAND percentage 100, okay? So here, uh, our intention is also generate random numbers uh, between 1 to 100 here, okay? So generating random numbers, let's write it and put it in the comment itself. It's generating the random numbers in the brackets if you say 1 to 100. So in the last previous couple of lessons, we have learned how to control the generated random number within a specific range by using this uh, percentage uh, 100, this syntax here, okay? So what happens is as soon as the random number uh, is, gets generated, automatically it uh, falls onto the this specific range if you use this percentage channel here okay so what happens uh, the, this loop this loop runs entirely and stores our uh, uh, random uh, and stores a random number immediately inside the for loop here okay so let's take another for loop to make uh, the code a bit clearer let's take another for loop here let's say for i is equal to zero so i less than uh, 100 once again and uh, i plus plus okay so if you say something like this, so printf uh, percentage, okay, so percentage, so let's say ARR of percentage D. So let's, uh, to, to keep the message a bit clearer, okay, so ARR of percentage D is equal to percentage D, okay. Uh, now, I, comma, ARR, I, okay. So here what happens if you see the output you get a more uh, clear picture here okay so i'm just running the program okay so if you see observe the output uh, it, it got generated uh, the array of random numbers starting from our, uh, 0 to 99 here okay so last random number gets generated is uh, 91 uh, so in between all you have uh, each and every uh, for each and every index of an array you have a random number generated here okay so error so as soon as the random number gets generated if you go to the program so if you go to the program uh, so if you observe here 
So as well as you generate a random number using this rank function, uh, it automatically uh, crumps down the range to 100 and it stores automatically in that array in particular index here, okay. So for that reason we have, uh, so for array of 0 we have uh, a random number and array of 1 we have a random number, array of 2 and so on and so forth. So we, we have obtained in this way uh, because, let me, run, let me run the program once again. So we have obtained in this way because, uh, because of this syntax here, okay. So here we have uh, uh, exactly how we are going to uh, print uh, the random number. Uh, in that way, we have uh, uh, made our printer statement. Okay. So in this way, you can uh, generate uh, uh, an array of random numbers and store them in an array and print uh, print print them back uh, using your uh, for loop here. Okay. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.